Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets is an incredible feat in terms of VFX and a labour of love from director Luc Besson, who was a childhood fan of the original comic. From this epic alien-filled sci-fi, a whopping 2,355 effect shots were needed, which, in order to be manageable, were split between ILM, Rodeo FX, and Weta Digital, depending on each company's strengths. Rodeo Effects was given the task of creating the Alpha Station, in addition to the main spaceship, Intruder, and various space battles. Rodeo spent a lot of time breaking down concept artwork into individual pieces of architecture, which could then be modelled to start building up what would end up being a huge library of CG buildings, props and architectural elements. The elements were then used to form hundreds of different models, which were the building blocks of every spaceship and building. <laughs> Ten different models could be assembled into hundreds of different looking combinations. ILM's main task was the extremely complex Big Market Sequence, which consisted of approximately 600 shots spared between two worlds, Kyrian and Big Market. Each area within the market was treated and created as an individual set. Working once again from concept artwork, ILM built generic elements such as windows, doors, tables and props, as well as specific elements, like stores, which were then used to dress each individual set. For the crowds, ILM did a motion capture session to obtain some general movement of tourists window shopping and talking to merchants. This was then used to create different animated sequences over 1,000 frames long, containing different groups of aliens. When a character got closer to the camera, they switched to hero animation to create a specific action for the shot. Weta handled around 1,300 shots and playing to Weta's strengths, these were mainly CG creatures and a large amount of motion capture for the Pearl world. The Pearls are a race in sync with their environment and show their emotions through their skin, which meant that on top of the primary and secondary animation of the characters, there had to be a tertiary or even quaternary animation of their skin. In order to accomplish this, Weta had to develop a complex skin shading system. Around 200 100 CG creatures were created for the film. Many of these creatures' looks were locked down during production, enabling Weta to concentrate on the hero characters. This was only possible because of the huge amount of concept art director Luke Besson had amassed. In homage to Luke and his previous work, The Fifth Element, Weta added a brief shot of Bruce Willis's flying taxi somewhere in the film. Please give us a like if you enjoyed this video, don't forget links to the music are in the video description and let us know in the comment section which movie VFX you'd like to see behind next.